what's up YouTube this is Gadget Pilot and I would like to welcome everyone <clears throat> on today's video again uh, in this video I'm doing something new on my channel as it's going to be a new playlist called do you know your aircraft and I'm starting off with the Airbus A318 for those who don't know much about this aircraft it's about time you guys learn a few things about your lovely Airbus A318 Okay, so as I said, this is episode one and I'm starting off with the Airbus A318 and I would like to welcome you on board. Before I start this video, I would like to thank every single one of you for my 1000 subscribers. I really, I really appreciate that guys and it, it, I never thought I was gonna get to that kind of level on my subscribers i thank you all so much for that and i appreciate all your support i will be making a video uh an event you'll see more details on my facebook page which is called infinite flight gadget pilots i have more information about the event and uh, i hope to see you all there okay guys back to our plan we are going to discuss a few things today and uh, basically the Airbus A318 is a development of the Airbus A320 as it's it has six meters is six meters that's in that's like 20 foot shorter than the Airbus A320 and it's powered by two turbofan engines and uh, we are talking about two brands, two different brands that they use for these aircraft. The first brand is Bratt and Whitney, which is PW6000. And also the other one is CF International, which is CFM 565 engines. Okay, in the cab, in the cockpit, guys, this aircraft has only space for two crew members which is the captain and the co-pilot and it has it can take maximum passengers I mean this capacity it depends on the seats as well at uh, 136 passengers that's the maximum uh, capacity of this aircraft <clears throat> it starts off from 107 to 136 but you can find this guys there's if you check on information about this aircraft it also says maximum capacity 107 to 117 but if you check on airbus it says 100 maximum passengers 136 so uh, this is a bit confusing for me as well so uh i'm sure it can take 136 passengers depending on how the seats are built in the aircraft. Okay guys, boy, well Airbus has designed this aircraft for stiff approaches. For example, if uh, you're flying in low altitude in towns and there's high buildings, it can bang down so it's built for stiff approaches, no problem. For this aircraft and uh, yeah so let's go and see how strong are these engines on this aircraft well basically uh, this aircraft has power of 21,600 pounds uh, that's uh, 96.1 kilonewtons and uh, it's quite really strong egg really, really strong engines and especially on this kind of uh, aircraft okay its maximum speed is at 486 knots which is 900 kilometers per hour and that's in miles 559 miles per hour and much March speed is at 0 
so if you guys want to fly real on your game just try and keep <clears throat> below 8 486 knots of uh, cruise speed just to make things more realistic because sometimes I can see people flying and they're having like airlines and they're over 560 knots which is for me insane to fly in those kind of speeds okay it can climb this aircraft's maximum altitude is at 39.800 feet uh, if you take that in meters it's 12,131 meters and uh, 3,213 nautical miles it is range so you can fly at uh, uh, 3,213 with fuel full, with full fuel that's in kilometers 5,950 and in miles is 3,697 miles okay guys this is really interesting so uh, for those who didn't know much about this aircraft you guys need to pay a bit of attention here or you can check it out for yourselves let's go ahead and see what how heavy is this aircraft when it, it's it's there's no passengers on and there's no fuel on or anything so the empty weight is 34,500 kilograms that's 76,059 pounds and uh, its maximum takeoff weight should be at 59,000 kilograms which is 1,000 130,073 pounds max landing weight should be appropriate at 56,000 kilograms which is 12,300,459 pounds yep so the wing let's go see the wings now the wing span is at 34 meters 0.10 that's 111.9 feet wing area 122.6 square meters which is 1320 square feet the length of this aircraft is at 31.44 meters 103.1 feet and the height okay and the height of this aircraft is 12.56 meters which is 41.2 feet So guys, this aircraft took its first flight in on the 15th of January 2002. So we have like was 14 years ago, and Airbus still produces this aircraft. It's like I said, development of the Airbus A320. And if we're talking about the codes of this aircraft, you can find it in ICAO code, which is A318. IADA code is 318. PAA, TCNDC, is A28NM. EASA, TCDS, is A.064. These are different codes. You guys can find this aircraft in different uh, aviation codes and you can get varieties of this aircraft at Airbus A318 111 Airbus A318 112 Airbus I'm talking about the series guys so these are the series that you the company gets this aircraft out for sale the Airbus A318 
121 series and uh, lost the A318 122 so these are the series of this aircraft so like I said it took its first flight on the 15th of January Intr introduction the first company that bought this aircraft in 2003 was uh, with Frontier Airlines This is the company that first bought this aircraft and made flights with it. And we have the primary users now, guys. There's a lot of companies that use the A318, uh, starting off with the Air France, Avianca, and uh, Tarom, and many more airlines that do use this aircraft. This aircraft uh, was produced in 2002. And it's still produced and it's still in production until now so we can get this aircraft out uh, from Airbus now as well numbers of build in two th we have we had like 80 numbers of build as October 2015 there should be more now coming out on 2016 so we'll just wait for the new record to get out this unit cost, this aircraft cost uh, 70.62, 74.3 million dollars, that's in US dollars, expensive aircraft, but worth it as many companies really prefer this aircraft uh, as it makes short to medium range flights and uh, it's the smallest model of Airbus. So guys, this is it for this video. I hope you guys did understand my the point of this video today. If you did like it, please hit a like below. And uh, I'll see you on the next video. For now, take care guys. Bye bye.